subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel 6s plus versus the iphone 10s max i'm very excited about this one as many people did request this in my 7 plus versus 8 plus video but the 6s plus was one of the best phones i think apple ever made because it was one of their large phones that didn't have the bending problems it had a headphone jack it was actually so good it was rather boring let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test in three two one and see which one can get there first now the 10s max is exciting because it's like an iphone 10 with that newer design and such a large screen and a similar size body as something like a plus iphone from the past also i'd like to see you know how this older iphone competes against this guy and you could see wow what is up with the boot up almost every boot up test we've done the 10s max keeps losing even to the a9 cpu iphone 6s plus with ios 12 so i really think apple went to work on their older devices and kind of forgot about optimizing these new ones quite as good as these old ones but that's a good sign for older iPhone 6S Plus users. Okay, so let's go ahead and run a Touch ID test. You can see that's how fast it is for the iPhone 6S Plus, which had second gen, which was carried over to the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus. So if you bought an iPhone 6S Plus, you still basically have the same tech from 2017. Now over here for the iPhone 10s Max, it's just Face ID. So three, two, one, let me get over there. And three, two, one. You could see it's just a two swipe process. So it's not slow, it's actually quite fast, but it's not as fast as Touch ID because Touch ID doesn't require you to look at anything. You just put your finger there and it goes. So I think Touch ID should be kind of embedded within this Apple logo. That would be the greatest thing ever, I think, for biometrics for this device. But in this test, I would say that the 6S Plus is actually a little bit faster to get into your device than the iPhone 10s Max, even though that capacitive Touch ID is a little faster than this clicky button. It's still faster than 10s Max when it comes to getting into your device, but you have that authentication benefit for applications and more secure enclave, as Apple likes to put it in their marketing speak. So yes, more secure Face ID over Touch ID, but faster on Touch ID. Okay, so let's see which one has a faster camera lock screen. When you're out and about, you need to catch that quick world star moment. You gotta have that camera coming out fast. So you can see that 6S Plus a little bit faster. Three, two, one. And for some reason, all these older iOS devices are seeing the real speed improvements. It's almost as if you're buying the iPhone 10s Max right now, not ready at its full potential. But still, the reason we make any speed tests right now is because, you know, this is what you're gonna buy right now. But overall, it's not too much of a difference, but you did see in those first couple swipes that the 6s Plus did go ahead. So I'm saying on the lock screen, it's not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna miss a moment on either. But the 6s Plus seems to be a little swifter when it comes to opening that camera from the lock screen. Okay guys, so here we have arrived at the application portion of the speed test. Everything is closed out for the 6s Plus and man, is that clicky home button satisfying? You hear that? That is a satisfying home button. Now over here for the 10s Max, this thing is also everything closed and that has that more modern swipe gesture thingy going on. But let's go ahead and run this speed test. Calendar three, two, one. Remember A9 versus A12. What about calculator? Four gigabytes of RAM versus two gigabytes of RAM. And you could see clock. And I never thought two gigs of RAM was enough for a plus size device, but it seems like the 6S Plus was still rather fast for its time. And uh, it's definitely holding up well here against the 10S Max. You could see 10S Max a little bit ahead. Instagram, you could see 10S Max slightly ahead there. For Instagram, let's go to my profile page, open up a couple of photos here, and you can see that just loading up these photos is not really gonna be a difference on the day-to-day. -day. So Instagram heavy core users or hardcore users, you're definitely not gonna notice a big update besides the fact that you got more screen to stare at. What about YouTube? And you can see YouTube, the 6S Plus on that one, trending, the 6S Plus again. So coming home, let's go into Prime Video. Let's see which one can take the, the win here on Prime Video. I was going to say the L, but the iPhone XS Max takes the L there. You can see Jaws opening that up. Coming home, let's go into Amazon. Come on, Amazon. Which one are you shopping on first? And that is the XS Max slightly. Let's go into eBay. And you can see eBay 
look like a little bit to the 6s plus let's go into slither and see which one opens slither first that's the 10s max here's where the 10s max does shine in gaming it does have the more powerful processor let's go into jetpack joyride and you can see jetpack joyride looks to leap ahead here for the 10s max so again gaming is the win here this is where it really shines for the newer iphones let's go into dead trigger 2 and we should see a win here again for the 10s max and just slightly over to 6s plus but it's not like you can't play games from 2018 on your 6s plus you definitely can you're just going to wait like two more seconds for it to load what about PUBG mobile we'll be back when this is done loading as it does take some time we'll get into the match Okay, so the 10s Max was significantly ahead on loading up that PUBG Mobile match. Now let's see which one can get into the actual match first. So they both look pretty close here. Oh, I got a little notification. That might give the 6S Plus the win. No, it doesn't. The 10s Max still with the win, even with that notification. So the 10s Max is a faster gaming phone. There's no doubt about that. Let's come home. Let's go into Antutu Benchmark and see which one gets the win. That is the 10S Max. Let's go into Geekbench. And you can see Geekbench is first for the left on the 6S Plus. And coming home, let's go into Speed Test. And Speed Test looked like maybe the 6S Plus was pretty close. What about iMovie, three, two, one? And you could see iMovie is first. That to me looked like the 10S Max. I might be wrong. Let's go into Video Shop. You can see tennis max slightly. Let's go into the cameras three, two, and one. And you can see that is the 6S Plus. So I think overall in the single core, just like the 7 Plus versus the tennis max, it looks like the gaming is the win. It looks like the mainstream apps, all these other applications kind of are really close. They're within seconds of each other. Some go to the tennis max, some go to the 6S Plus. So it's pretty much a draw there. Overall, I think that the 6S Plus held its own the 10s max is still a faster phone when it comes to the real cpu intensive stuff like gaming all right guys so we've arrived at the multitasking test we're going to begin with the 6s plus let's begin with camera and see if we get any reloads on any of these two gigabytes of ram versus four gigabytes of ram iMovie reloads speed test is good to go geekbench is good to go and tutu with the reload what about PUBG mobile that was paused in the match you can see dead trigger ready to go jetpack joyride ready to go slither ready to go eBay is good to go. Amazon choked up a little bit there. And Prime Video, just fine. YouTube is just fine. WhatsApp with a reload. So here's where that two gigabytes of RAM, Instagram with a reload, cannot hold up against a newer iPhone is when you have multiple applications open. Now it looks like a couple of these reloaded as well, just very slightly, but they did reload. Okay, so let's test out the 10s Max, the camera. Let's go into Video Shop, iMovie Reloads. Let's go into Speed Test, Geekbench, and Tutu with a reload. And there's a pause there for PUBG, but it's good to go. That held Dead Trigger just fine. Held Jetpack, Slither's ready, eBay is ready, Amazon is ready, Prime Video is ready, YouTube is ready, WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Clock, Calculator, calendar so you can see the much better multitasking here for the iphone 10s max i still think six gigs of ram would have been nice in the 10s max but four gigs of ram does boost it up to a level where it does definitely have better multitasking performance than the iphone 6s plus so that's a nice update if you're coming from this phone all right guys so here we are at the internet speed test now this is important for large screen phone buyers let's go into apple.com you can see that it's first for the 10s max let's click this link and you can see the 10s Max slightly ahead, but I did notice that the 10s Max is faster on the mobile data. So if you want better LTE speed, you definitely want to upgrade to one of these newer devices. Let's go into the next website. How about Yahoo 321 and see which one is first here. The 10s Max slightly. Let's click this page. The 10s Max slightly again. The pinch to zoom does feel a little smoother to scroll and pinch the zoom on the 10s max just a little bit because of that new sample touch rate you can definitely feel it for the 10s max but it's not like the 6s plus is slow it's a very fast browsing performance as well what about bing and you could see again it's just a microsecond faster there for the 10s max let's do another one what about yelp and you could see yelp with a slight win for the 10s max i mean this is not life-changing whatsoever 
But hey, it's still a win there for the 10s Max. So you're going to have to decide if this really matters to you um, on this speed test for the internet. So I'm calling that one pretty close with the 10s Max slightly. Okay, guys, so let's render out some video here. Now, this is a 4K30 clip at one minute long. Let's see which one is faster. Three, two, one to compile and render this video. So we do see the iPhone 10s Max flexing its muscle right here and this is a blowout victory here and a 4k 30 test for the 10s max versus the 6s plus this isn't even fair on this one so this is what i've been wanting to see forever because you've seen the 7 plus and the other phones were keeping up just fine this is what you want to see in an upgrade so maybe the true upgrade is for older iphone users like a 6s plus you see that's a massive update let's go into iMovie now to do another video rendering test to make sure that they both have the same performance or close to what we just seen. What about save video three, two, one. And let's see if it's actually more optimized for iMovie three, two, one. And the tennis max, if the last video test was true, should take way ahead over the iPhone success plus. So you can see there's a significant margin. I'm going to speed this up as this does take some time and we'll be back when they're done. I will speed it up so you can still see the bars though. Okay, so the 10s Max is done, not as significantly as it was in Video Shop. So if you're gonna be rendering on an older device, I do recommend using iMovie because it's more optimized for the Apple device, but the 10s Max still flexed its muscle right there. So that's where you really see that more power that you get out of this device. You also see it in artificial intelligence too, but we don't see many people using AI apps just yet. Okay, so here are the final Geekbench scores. And of course, as we expected, a crushing win a huge win for the 10s max but in conclusion the 10s max definitely the more powerful phone you've seen it here where it really mattered in the gaming and in the cpu where in the video rendering it really flex its muscle on the 6s plus but this was the last s phone or last iphone with a headphone jack this phone is still very fast for day-to-day -day stuff and if you're not rendering which I don't know how many people are actually doing that stuff on their phone. The 6S Plus still can hang in there. And if you're trying to buy one of these secondhand, still definitely a good phone. But the 10S Max is the winner here of this speed test. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, enjoying, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe 